Well, moving to Black Lives Matter, as Erica brought up, the protesters there gathered and marched in Zinc, Arkansas yesterday. Now, if you don't know anything about Zinc, let me tell you, it's reported the hometown of the Knights of the Ku Klux Klan National Director. So here's what one of the organizers of the march, Aaron Clark, had to say about it. Take a look. Um, we decided to come down here to Zinc, Arkansas. Uh, Thomas Robb is the national director of the uh, KKK. He's a um, resident down here in Zinc. Uh, so we came, we decided just to come down here and bring the fight to his front step. We're going to put a national spotlight on this area and we're going to uh, stop letting the Klan and white nationalist groups sit back and hide in the shadows. Wow. Well, the march was met with armed counter protesters and folks carrying signs reading turn back. Still, the protests remain peaceful, which is wonderful. Uh, Lindsay, what do you think of protesting in areas where hate is rampant? This is a fundamental First Amendment rights issue in terms of uh, America. What do you think about that? I think it's scary. I mean, but even still, the KKK, in my opinion, is a terrorist organization. And so the things that they have done historically and still do to this day, most recently in June, where we saw a huge truck drive into a peaceful protest mm. in Richmond, Virginia, that's a terrorist activity. And so when we're looking at these people that are going to go protest in these places and spaces that they're usually not allowed in, um, I congratulate everybody and, you know, support them going over there and saying that we're not going to make you guys out in the open. We're going to make you feel like you need to hide in the shadows because this kind of behavior is not acceptable anywhere. And there was even a white filmmaker that went to a, another town close by in Arkansas and held up a Black Lives Matter sign and really showed how people near and around that area and so many other places around the world and country are still so racist and got so offended by him holding up that sign, calling him the N-word. You know, they didn't know they were being filmed. And so yeah. this is also information that's out there on the internet. So I think that it's good that we're continuing to stay on top of people and making that type of behavior behavior inappropriate. Yeah, I agree with you. I think what's ironic, Erica, is this. The KKK in the 50s would go to black people's homes, right, like Martin Luther King Jr., and stick a cross in their yard and burn it, right? So we have a picture of that. This is Martin Luther King Jr. picking up a cross, right, with his son there of what they did. So the KKK would go to their yard. Now the Black Lives Matter is coming to their yard. Now they're being peaceful, which is great, but I think it's an interesting twist to see the change. And a lot of people writing in, Patrice, Patrice Gardner said, brave men and women. What do you think? Well, you know, one protester said that they were going to force them to see who they hate. And that just struck me so much because there was this white flight and people really went to their own collective spaces and, you know, and places and decided that this is how we're going to live our lives in it's basically a separatist. So the idea that someone can hate something that they don't even know yeah. and don't interact with in any way is just really interesting. It's actually the definition of ignorance. So when I see these people going down peacefully saying, we are going to make you see us, we're going to make you look at us, I think it's so powerful because that's what we're doing right now in this country and in this world. We're facing the evil that has been really covert racism For and the, we're saying our, our if you want to do it it's going to be over yeah. like if that's what you want to do and that's what you want to be then understand because people who are committed to misunderstanding are going to continue to misunderstanding and hate but there are going to be people whose minds and hearts can be changed and i think we should all be open to that as well well said